Hi boys and girls, today we're going to review some rounding. Find the number 384 and 734 thousandths. We're going to round to the nearest hundred first. Well I know this would be my ones place, tens place, hundreds place. So I'm going to underline this digit. I'm going to draw an arrow to the right. Is that 8 going to bump the 3 up to a 4 or keep it a 3? Nice job, boys and girls. It will become a four, which means every other number after that underlined digit is going to become a, that's right, a zero. And that's the same as just saying it's 400. Now, if I were to round to the nearest 10, I would say ones, tens, oh, there it is. Is this four gonna bump the eight up to a four? a nine or keep it an eight. Nice job. It will stay an eight. So everything before the underline stays the same. This you just told me is going to stay the same and everything else has to become zeros. That's the same as saying to the nearest 10, it's 380. Let's look at the nearest one. We said this was my ones place. Is this seven gonna bump the four up to a five or keep it a four? You're exactly right. It's going to bump it up to a five because seven is closer to 10 than it is to zero. Everything before the underline stays the same. You told me this would change to a five and everything else would change to zeros, which is saying rounded to the nearest ones place this number would be 385. If I'm rounding to the nearest tenth, let's review our place value. Tenths, hundredths, thousandths. That seven is in my tenths place, which means I'm gonna look to the right. Is the three going to bump the seven up to an eight or keep it a seven? While you're thinking, I'm gonna go ahead and write all the digits that come before and keep them the same. Wonderful, boys and girls. It will stay a seven. Everything else becomes big fat zeros. All right, boys and girls, let's look at our last expectation. We're rounding to the nearest hundredth. Hmm, is this four gonna bump the three up to a four? or keep it a three. While you're thinking, I'm gonna go ahead and write all the digits prior because those stay the same. Hey, great job again. It will stay a three, which is the same as saying that rounded to the nearest hundredth, this would be 384 and 73 hundredths. If you notice, my TH is on the end because with our decimals, it's the only time you can stick your tongue out when you say the word. Great job.